It's no secret that Google Analytics 4 is far from perfect. Some things are missing, some things don't work, and some things are just annoying. Sure, it would be great to have views in the free version, a higher API limit, but I decide to think at a smaller scale. What are the small changes that Google could implement in GE4 that would improve user experience? And things that I will show you were the first things where I thought, oh, I wish Google fixed that. So let's agree on the rules. This list is not final, and there are many other things that could be improved. In this video, I focused on small improvements that will solve a lot of annoying things. Well, at least most of the features here are small fixes. At least that's how I think. So I will not mention views or API quotas or coordinate issues or something else because those would require major refactoring. So let's take a look. Here's the first situation. You started tracking embedded video players on your website and you want to know which videos are played the most. And I mean, which videos get the video play event. So I would have expected that I could just go to reports, engagement, events, then find the event, for example, video play. And here I would expect to be able to see what were those video titles where this event happened. However, by default, you won't be able to see that. The only thing that is possible by default is to see the values from the last 30 minutes, but that is definitely not enough. So here you would need to implement a workaround, which is to create a custom dimension for video title, then it would appear as a separate card here, or you would need to customize the report, I mean, customize a standard report, or to build a freeform exploration. All in all, this would require many more clicks than I would like. Instead, I wish that when I go to the report of a particular event, there would also be a table where I could switch between various dimensions. For example, video title, I could use page location, basically any event scoped standard or custom dimension. Then I could see how many times that event happened and let's say how many users did that event. This means that I could see this very basic data just in a couple of clicks and I would not need to register a custom dimension to see that data. Of course, below this table, there could be other widgets like they are right now, for example, a map or maybe something else. But I wish that one of the widgets here was the actual table where I could do basic search and just quickly check what are the top values of a particular dimension in that event. The next situation is related to customizing your standard reports. Customization in general has its potential and I can build a lot of customized reports here on the sidebar so that other team members or clients could quickly access that information. Let's say that, for example, I want to build a site search report. In that case, I would go to any detail report that has a table, then click customize report. And then based on that, I could create a new report. Luckily, right now we have filters that allow me to display only a subset of data. However, one very important dimension here is missing, and that is event name. For example, I would like to build a report where I only include data coming from the view search results event. Because right now, if I decide to show only search term as the main dimension in the report and I click apply, we will have the first row, which is empty. That is happening because this first row is showing data from all other events, which are not related to site search. If I could add an event name dimension right here in the filter and narrow down just to a particular event, then this report would be much cleaner. Even though we can create a bunch of customized reports in the reports section right here on the sidebar, I wish that Google Analytics would have more predefined reports. I understand that one size does not fit all and for some businesses, some reports will not be useful, but I would say, you know, adding maybe five, 10 additional reports would be useful. For example, the report of all referrals or more reports related to e-commerce, such as coupon codes or a list of transaction IDs or maybe something else. I think that Google definitely should have some sort of usage statistics coming from Universal Analytics. So I would guess that they know which reports in the old version of GA are used the most often. So look at those numbers and then add 10 more or something like that reports based on their popularity. This would save some time for users who use Google Analytics for basic reporting. The next thing that I wish Google Analytics had is better collaboration features 
in explorations. Because right now, basically, there are almost no collaboration features. Let me show you what I mean. So here I have a bunch of explorations. Most of them are for testing purposes, but right now they are displayed only for me. No other user who has access to this property will see them. But maybe I would like to build a report so that other teammates would see the data as well. Or even better, maybe some teammates will have additional ideas so that they could tweak the report as well. Right now, when I go to the report, there is a button right here to share the exploration. And when I click it, it says that from now on, after I click share, this report will be visible for other users in this property. But they will see it only in read-only mode, meaning that they will not be able to edit the report. The only thing that they will be able to do is to make their own local copy and then edit. But once they change something, those changes will not be reflected in your own exploration. So basically, the same property might end up with a bunch of different variations of the same exploration, and all of them will be isolated. Also, another thing, which is also very annoying, is that when you share an exploration, read-only mode means that you will also not be able to change the date range. So if I create a report and I set, let's say, to the last 30 days, these last 30 days are not moving. They are set in stone to this particular date. And if someone from your team is looking at this report after the data retention period has ended, so that might be after two months or maybe after 14 months, depending on the settings, then they will get an error that the report cannot be viewed. And here's the example of that error. Then that date range becomes invalid. So in this case, what I wish Google would do instead is that I could actually share the exploration not only in read-only mode, but actually allow others to collaborate. Maybe there could be some sort of permissions where you can share either as read-only or as edit. And if you're looking at the read-only report, then it should be no-brainer to still allow me to change the date range to something else in that report. Let's go back to the standard reports. So in GA4, it is possible to customize standard reports and add a bunch of new reports right here. However, this process could be improved by a lot if it was possible to reuse certain report templates in other properties as well. For example, let's say that I'm an agency and I have configured 10 new reports for my client on the sidebar. Now, if I have another client and I think that they would also benefit from the same 10 reports, I would need to build them once again, pretty much from scratch. Now, it would be much more helpful if I could somewhere, maybe on the property level, maybe let's say just for myself, I don't know, that, that depends on Google, but it would be cool if I could save my own custom reports as templates and I could reuse them in multiple properties this could save me a lot of time. Of course, I understand that the scope of this feature is much higher than the previous ones I mentioned, but in this case, this would help definitely a lot. Then I wish that there was a better support for regular expressions. For example, here, if I go to any standard detail report, here the search field is looking only for values with contains. Now, instead, I wish that this field would also support, or maybe there could be some checkbox that enables regex, but I would also like to see the possibility to use something like page view and then enter a pipe, which is in regular expressions, or, and then, you know, some other event, because maybe I just want to see a couple of events in this report. Also, another place where regular expression support would be very appreciated is when you define your own internal traffic and when you have to list the IP addresses. Right now, if you go to admin, then data streams, web data stream, then go to configure tax settings, click show all, and then define internal traffic, here you cannot unfortunately use regular expressions. So that would help a lot. And another thing which I don't use unfortunately right now at GE4 because it just is not that useful, and that is charts and standard reports. In Universal Analytics, we had a chart that just showed a total number of that particular metric. For example, here we have a report of traffic sources, and here we have the number of users, but I can switch to sessions. And then if I look at the longer time period, I could see some spikes or some drops, 
and that could help me quickly identify that something happened in that particular time period and I need to investigate that further. Because right now when I'm looking at this chart, it shows only top five results. And what if at some point my traffic just spiked and maybe that spiked traffic source was not even among the top five. Here I cannot see that. So that's why usually I disable all charts in standard reports because none of them is useful. So having something like this where I could also change the metric and it would be even better if we could also change the granularity, that would help a lot and that would make the charts useful again. Because right now when I'm looking at the reports in GA4, I'm basically looking at tables because visualization in standard reports is not useful. The next topic is related to default reporting identities. So if you have enabled Google Signals at some point in your properties, then you probably know that a thing called thresholding exists. If you don't know what it is, then I will post a link to the description of this video. So the main thing is that because of thresholding, some part of your data will not be displayed in reports. But there is a quick workaround that allows you to disable thresholding. And that could be done by going to admin, then reporting identity, and you can switch between these three options. And sometimes I find myself that I switch between them even several times a day. So it would be really convenient if I could change the reporting identity directly in my standard reports. For example, if I go to, let me just quickly go to standard reports. Here I see the warning about thresholding. So maybe somewhere here, there could be a shortcut that could allow me quickly switch between reporting identities. Or maybe there could be somewhere else in the interface, maybe some icon here or something like that. Instead of going back to the admin section and doing a bunch of clicks, it would be much more convenient if I could just change the reporting identity here. Because the good thing about reporting identity is that it applies to historic data as well. So you can change that as many times as you want throughout the day. Then another thing is related to comparisons. So if you want to see a subset of data in standard reports, one of the options could be to customize the report. In that case, the subset settings, they will apply in the future as well. And every time you revisit the report, that particular configuration and that particular filter will be applied. However, if you want to do something on the fly and you want to do that quickly, you can use add comparison where you click here and then you can decide, let's say that I want to include data only coming from host name that is, let's say this one or just this one, for example. So then you apply and then you compare two different groups of your traffic. However, if the next time I come back to my Google Analytics 4 interface, I would need to do that configuration once again. Unless, of course, you save this URL as a bookmark. Then that comparison will remain as well. But I think that it would be a very good idea to allow me to save the comparisons. Then I could save the most popular ones that I'm often using and then apply them in different situations. I understand that comparisons are not meant to be as powerful as advanced segments in Google Analytics right here, I mean in Universal Analytics. However, I think that having the ability to save those comparisons and to reuse them in the future would help a lot. And again, it would reduce the number of clicks needed to achieve certain tasks. And then the final thing, but again, my wish list is much, much, much longer, but I'm just looking at the most basic stuff, at least most of these tips I think are the basic ones, but I'm not involved in the Google Analytics team, so I don't know what is happening in the backend and I don't know the reality if these features are actually simple. Especially, for example, the ability to reuse templates among different properties. Anyway, so when it comes to explorations, I really wish and actually many people have asked if this is possible and unfortunately it's not. So I wish that it was possible to easily resize the width of columns. Because right now, event count takes, I don't know, 80% of the report width, while the event name looks like this. Now, if I, for example, added a page location as a dimension, then for some reason, this one metric takes more than 50% of the report, while these are cut off at the end. So I wish that we could 
just simply drag and drop here and resize the columns. And if we need, for example, more space for the dimension, then we could do that. And this was my little rant on what kind of small things could Google fix in GE4. And I think that solving this would definitely reduce backlash to some extent. And now I pass the question to you. What would you want that Google fixed in Google Analytics for? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.